going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking the body beat down here on this Friday afternoon. So we finally made it to Friday and it feels pretty good. So today, I don't know if you can tell, but we're going to be doing some sitting barbell shoulder presses and I'm also going to be doing some one arm dumbbell rows for the back. And uh, today I went ahead and I decided to move my safeties up to where I can just start the bar from there and press. It beats having my J hooks up here where I gotta lean up and come back and press and then go up and try to set them up. This is kind of how I used to do it a long time ago, not a long time ago, but whenever I had my two post rack, you can go back and see some videos. And I had the little spotter arms that came off. Uh, I would always, I would start the bar on the spotter arms. It just kind of helps instead of having to try to make sure you get them back on the J hooks. So let's take a look. If I can get under this, good grief. Woo, I don't have that kind of range of motion. So as you can see, uh, and I may go down one more notch whenever I start the workout. But as you can see, we're starting like basically here and then we'll go from here up and down. I may go down one more notch because I like to, I want to come down to about at least here. And, uh, but uh, another reason for doing that is just in case that I decide to go heavy, which I probably won't, but you never know. At least the bar is up here already instead of down here further on some, on safeties. Uh, it's already up here, ready to go again. I don't have to worry about loading, you know, unloading and moving the bar and then loading it back up and doing this and that. It's already right here. So uh, that's how we're going to do it today, guys, and probably from now on. So let's go ahead and start working out, get this over with. It's going to be a pretty quick, short and sweet workout. Hope you all enjoy. I can't get around this. That's what she said. So uh, let's go ahead and start the workout, guys, and I uh, hope you stick around and enjoy. So before I start the workout, uh, I did lower the safeties down one notch, but it's still up kind of high. So instead of putting it down lower, what I'm going to do is I decided to do uh, like a pen press. So I think that'll work out pretty well for where it's at, and uh, we'll see how it goes. And uh, let's get it going. So we got 25s on, so we got a total of 95 pounds. The bar is 45. So let's see how we do, guys. <clears throat> it may end up being a pin press. Yeah, I guess it can. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We got one thirty five. One eighty five. We got 225. Let's give it a shot. So let's put a 10 on each end and we'll make it 245.
245. <clears throat> Final set. Going down and uh, getting a few reps with 135. Let's get her done. Got it was pin pressing. All right, guys, and just like that, like I said, short, sweet workout today. Uh, you'll notice I only did three sets of the one-arm dumbbell rows. I don't like doing those. Not only that, but in instead of grabbing my 50s to do a warm-up set and then grabbing my 80s to do another little, maybe, you know, warm-up set, a little heavier, uh, I went ahead and threw my 100s over there and I wasn't thinking, so... I just started out with my 100s. I did three sets of those and we'll just call it a day because let's face it, the 50s don't do a whole lot for me and uh, the 80s barely do. So <clears throat> the 100s, it is. So still a pretty good workout. Hey, glad I'm still glad I'm still able to do 245 on the uh, shoulder press. Even though it's even though I did more of a pin press, uh, you know, it's still really not much different for me. Uh, my PR that I got not too awful long ago, a new PR I got on an actual shoulder press, I think it was 280 or 285, I don't remember. And uh, my old, old PR from like 2010 was 245, and I surpassed that way a long time ago. And uh, I, can, I can rep 245 out if I want, you know, not reps like 10, but reps like maybe 3 or 4, so... Pretty happy with that that I can still move some weights there and uh, all these things kind of correlate with one another that's why you kind of work out the whole body uh, you got to hit the hit the whole body at some point you know some uh, you got to do something because it all kind of works together and uh, helps you to do well at this lift and helps you to do it well at this lift and this lift and this lift and this, this lift so it all kind of works together so that's why uh, I, I'm a big advocate of you're working out the whole body and uh, so anyway I'm just watching an old video myself riding a bicycle around the skate park and just getting rad doing rad stuff like I don't know stuff going up the ramps and stuff so anyway um, so workouts over and done now you'll notice I didn't do any calisthenics no jumping rope no any of that stuff this week I just kept things kind of basic and did my did my job I have kind of some plans I'm thinking of doing next week that may or may not even involve weights at all and we'll see how that goes if I can come up with something. Uh, I don't really know exactly what I'm wanting to do, I just kind of have an idea. So we'll see what transpires. Is that the word, transpires? Yeah, we'll use that word, what the heck. We'll see what transpires of that. What, what comes of that? I don't know. Anyway. 
So, uh, yeah, guys, if I give you a little inspiration to maybe do a little better for yourself, you know, on your physical side, your mental side, your nutrition side, your whatever side, if I give you a little help, a little push, a little inspiration to do a little better, maybe like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body beat down, I would appreciate it. And uh, also, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, look for some more videos over the weekend, heavy bag, walking, talking, and no telling what else. So we'll see y'all later. Have a good night. Get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it.